Biology is a great major if you're interested in putting together concepts from a myriad of other scientific disciplines. So to understand life, which is the, what biology is the study of, um, you will need to understand basic chemistry and organic chemistry. You'll need to understand basic physics principles and then obviously basic biological principles. So you incorporate all of these different ideas together um, and you're able to start to ask really interesting questions like how did we come to be here and how do changes in our environment affect us as individuals and the populations of individuals that live on the planet? How do species become more endangered or become more vibrant or invasive in their communities or into new communities that they go into? So the study of biology gives you a lot of breadth, a lot of opportunities, and it can run the gamut from I'm interested in cleaning up environmental disasters to I want to make sure that our food supply is safe. And so I'm going to go and work in food safety control at Coca-Cola or Frito-Lay or some big corporation like that. Um, if a student wanted to go to medical school, biology is a great fit for that because it provides the foundation that the MCAT is testing for and that's sort of the basic medical school tenets to get you started in that discipline. Um, and then of course biology is a huge research field. So lots and lots of biological research in the areas of genetics, evolution, ecology, molecular biology, cell biology, all of these areas are really vibrant right now. So Georgia Tech's biology program is interlinked into our chemistry and physics programs. The biology has a, a major, has a core set of courses that students take in those different disciplines. And the faculty between those disciplines do talk to each other. We have an integrated um, sciences curriculum coordinator who helps us to keep those different courses, the intro courses connected together. Um, and so that when you're taking your physics class, you'll run into a concept from biology. When you're taking your biology class, you'll hit some concepts from chemistry. And we try to link those things together for our students. Um, we have, be, uh, speaking of that same integrated sciences curriculum coordinator, um, she has put together a, a honeybee project on campus that's very relevant to thinking about agricultural systems. Um, it's an urban honeybee project, and so we have uh, urban bees on campus that are foraging and pollinating uh, the different um, species that live here on campus. So we have these really strong ecological and agricultural connections in the middle of this really big metropolitan area. Um, the research that happens in the School of Biology is really centered around ecology and evolution, cell and molecular, and then of course bioinformatics. And bioinformatics is, is the way that we study large data sets like genomes. And it makes a lot of sense for a school like Georgia Tech to have such a vibrant bioinformatics core here. So undergraduates can take our bioinformatics courses and, um, and learn about that particular aspect of biology. Something else that's kind of unique to the biology program at Georgia Tech is that we have a quantitative requirement. Um, it's more math, but it's a, a math course that goes beyond your Calculus 1, Calculus 2 course and actually links Calc 1 and Calc 2 ideas into biological content. So we think of it as building the bridge between the math content and the biology content to find that intersection. A lot of biological content is highly quantitative and we try to get our students early into thinking quantitatively so that they can really thrive in the upper level courses. That biology is an integrated science. Our whole department is basically built around that philosophy and so we have people working together um, from different sub-disciplines within biology. And we have researchers that are working that way and then in our classes we try to bring those research ideas into our teaching so that if you are taking, I'll give an example, we have an upper level course called Biologically Inspired Design or Bio-Inspired Design and that is a course that deliberately pairs a biology major or life sciences major with an engineering major. And so there might be 20 students in the course and you could have 10 biology majors and 10 engineering majors and you're thinking in this course all the time, how can you take the evolved elements from a system um, maybe the thorns that grow on a plant or the sticky pads on the bottom of a gecko's feet and use that kind of 
information to inform design from an engineering perspective. And so you have a collaboration from, from students that are working from in both these fields to try to figure out that information. Biology requires that you understand a core amount of chemistry and a core amount of physics and a core amount of math. Um, putting together all of those different ideas as your foundation allows you to go further in any specific exploration within biology. So if you want to really understand the physiology of what's happening inside of a cell, you have to understand the biochemical processes that are happening inside that cell. That's the chemistry part. But you also have to understand the physics of that cell and what can be inside versus outside the cell and how that affects pressure and other systems within the cell. So that's the physics part. Um, and the mathematical part is thinking about what the equations are that allow for change within the cell and from within to outside the cell, the movement and transport of molecules. A student can do just about anything with a biology degree. It's such a great question to think about. Um, it's unlike an engineering degree where once you become a biomedical engineer, you're qualified to do X. Once you become a chemical engineer, you're qualified to do this specific task. When you have a biology degree, you've opened up all of these different opportunities. So you can go to professional school. We kind of categorize our students as going in different kind of directions. You can go to professional school. You can get your medical school degree, your pharmacy degree, tons of directions you can go there, especially in the pre-health field. You can go to graduate school and become a researcher. Um, and we have lots of research base here in the city. We have several major universities. We obviously also have the CDC. Um, and then you have the option to go straight into the workforce. And some directions that students from our program have taken is to go to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, be a forensics expert in, um, at the GBI. I think the most interesting thing for students coming to Georgia Tech out of high school is that they've had science before. They've taken biology, they've probably taken some physical science, maybe, maybe physics. They've taken some chemistry, but they've never done any engineering. And they're coming to Georgia Tech. It's this huge school that has all of these engineering programs at it that are world famous. And, and the student thinks, I'm going to be an engineer because I'm going to Georgia Tech. Oh, and I know that I want to go to medical school. So I'm going to do an engineering degree that's really related to medical training. And so I'm going to pick biomedical engineering, which is a great program. What you have to understand is, are you wanting to be a scientist or are you wanting to be an engineer? And balancing out those two things, really understanding the difference between researching and understanding the principles underlying something, so studying life, that's biology, versus tweaking and creating and, and setting up things to be a certain way, that's engineering, is a fundamentally different set of processes. And so if you're really drawn by discovery and exploration, you probably want to be a scientist. And if you're really drawn by creating, and, and, and having end product, then you probably want to be an engineer. And that's the real dividing line for you as a student making that decision. Biology is a great major for students that are interested in going to medical school or really any pre-health direction. Um, the core requirements for medical school are a year of English, a year of biological sciences, two years of chemistry, so that's intro general chemistry as well as intro, intro organic chemistry, a year of physics, and a year of math, which at Georgia Tech is calculus. Biology requires all of those just within its, its um, degree requirements. On top of that, biology um, also has the ability for students to take specific free electives and biology electives that can be very helpful when preparing for the MCATs. The new MCAT in 2015 has been revised significantly as, and will include a sociology section, a psychology section, and sociology and psychology can both be taken as core curriculum requirements at Georgia Tech for any major. Um, in addition, the MCAT always has an area that heavily weighs in physiology. There's additional chemistry. There's a, a possibility to do some biochemistry on the MCAT. And all of those courses, although not taught in the School of Biology, can count as biology electives towards the major. And so you can build in every single elective course that you need to go to medical school and to prepare yourself well for medical school and complete the biology major all at the same time. In our introductory sequence, which is our um, principles of biology course and then our organismal biology course, we cover the, just the basics of biology from all the structures to evolution ecology, 
genetics and cell biology. We talk about bioenergetics. So we just we cover all the basics, and we want to give our students a really strong foundation. When we do that in a moderately large lecture course, but it's not a sit and take notes kind of lecture course. It's a very interactive lecture course that has lots of activities. Um, we have traditionally used clickers in the classroom to ask questions. We're moving to a new system called Learning Catalytics, where we can ask harder, not harder questions, but questions that allow us to really dig deeper into student understanding of what's going on, where you are in your understanding of the biolog biological concepts. The other thing I'd love to tell you about is our honors program that we have within biology. And students in biology are permitted to take our honors courses without being part of the Georgia Tech honors program. The honors courses encompass our first year sequence, so principles of biology and organismal biology. And then we also have honors courses for our sophomore sequence of lab courses, which includes ecology with lab and genetics, honors genetics with lab. And those are fun because the lab courses in all of those are really project-based. So the students are making their own decisions about what kinds of projects they want to do. They're working on teams. What kind of question do I want to answer? Put together my own hypothesis. Build my own experimental design. Go out and test it. And then report out a result at the end.